five days they give me to put on a TV special. And I can't do it on my home grounds. I gotta go to Hollywood to lay this omelet. Oh, Daddy, you always worry about these shows, and they always come out just fine. They come out just fine. Five days, five days, no material, nothing specially written. Fred Astaire, they give four months, two months for each foot. Me, five days. <laughs> you so much why did you accept the show honey when a man like jr willoughby asks you to do him a favor and fill in that you don't say no no you just complain well i can't help it five days to you if i don't daddy what? here's my autograph book what? i want you to get autographs of everybody on wagon train gun smoke have gun will travel and wyatt earp <laughs> everyone well if some of the horses can't write will you settle for hook prints <laughs> you know what i Mean, all right, Daddy. all right. Take care of your mother here. Yeah, I will, Dad. All right. Here, Daddy, you oh. can do a favor for me, too. What, honey? Give this back to Rock Hudson. Give it back to him? Why? Why? Honey, it's an autograph, especially to you. Why do you want him to give it back? Because I found out he also sent a picture to my girlfriend, Gloria, so he and me are through. <laughs> Forget honey, it. Keep oh. it. Love her. The sleeping yeah. pills. Did you pack the sleeping pills? Yes, honey, pills? I just checked. They're right in here in your pocket. Thank you, dear. Thank you. I'll take one on the plane. <laughs> Willoughby, Willoughby. Willoughby Williams. I'm not Willoughby Williams. I'm Danny Williams. I want Willoughby. I'm sorry we have no Willoughby here. I don't want Willoughby from you. I want Willoughby from her. From you, I want a room. Danny Williams. Look, I haven't had any sleep. Would you please get me a room and let's... Hello. J.R. Willoughby is the boss. He must... Hello. I'm sorry, Mr. Williams. There's no reservation for you here. We're all filled up. Filled up? Danny, baby, welcome to Hollywood. How was the trip, Kitty? <laughs> the trip was fine, but how come nobody met me at the airport? You mean our man Joey Mason didn't meet you? Nobody met me. I was the only one on that plane that wasn't met. I was the wallflower of Gate 5. <laughs> I don't know why I sent that guy. Something always happens to him. And something else is going to happen to him when I see him again. I'll kill him. So help me, I'll kill him. Hold the line just a minute, will you, Dan? Miss Simpson, make a note. Kill Mason. Don't worry about it, baby. It's penciled in. What good is that doing me? I haven't got a room here. You don't have a room? No, no, no room. And I took a sleeping pill and I got on a plane. When I got off the plane, I had a headache. So I took a headache pill, but it turned out to be another sleeping pill. And I can't keep my eyes open. Danny, but you're all upset. Get control of yourself. Now, hold on just a minute, Danny. Now, just one more second. Miss <laughs> Simpson, find Joey Mason for me. I'll hold the line. I don't care how long it takes, but I want Mason. Find Joey Mason. Right, Connect me with uh, Danny Williams, please. I'm Danny Williams. Oh, hello, Mr. Williams. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed you at the airport. How's your sweep? My sweep? What sweep? How can you ask such silly questions? I'm standing right in the middle of the lobby right next to you. You ask me, how's my sleep? Okay, just a minute. Hey, could you hold it down, buddy? <laughs> Look, uh, Mr. Williams, I'm sorry. There's some loudmouth standing here in the lobby. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Williams. <laughs> Hello. I I'm sorry. I'm Joey Mason. Huh? I don't mean I'm sorry I'm Joey Mason. <laughs> Maybe I am. But, uh... I, I'm awfully sorry. You see, I, I meant to meet you at the airport, but my father borrowed the car. Your and father? We'll... Look, I don't want to hear about your father. Hello. Oh, please, please, Mr. Williams. I'm supposed to give you a red carpet treatment. Mr. Willoughby's orders. Uh, now, you just go relax, sir, and I'll take care of all this. I'll handle everything for you. Hello, this is Joey Mason. I'm handling Mr. Williams' business while he's in town. Who's this, please? <laughs> my name is Willoughby. It, it's for you. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Willoughby. Hello, Mason. Yes, sir. We're going to kill you. <laughs> I can't blame you, sir. I, I, would you be interested in an explanation? No! Well, it was ju ju just a thought. Now, listen, Mason. Get this and get it good. Danny Williams saved our collective hides when he agreed to do this show. Now I want you to stick with that boy. I want you to get him a suite of rooms, and I want you to cater to his every whim. Do you understand that? Now get cracking. Uh, Mr. Willoughby, he always hangs up when I'm not through talking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you 
Don't you worry, sir. I'll take no. care of everything. Okay. You just relax, take sir. Take care of it. Okay. Hello, I'm Joey Mason from the firm of Worthington, Willoughby, Cleary, and Jones. I made a reservation for the penthouse suite for Mr. Williams. So when was the reservation made? I called yesterday. You called yesterday? Yes, I called yesterday. I was supposed to call yesterday. <laughs> But I didn't call yesterday. <laughs> oh. Well, sir, uh, Mr. Williams is a very important man. Could you please help me out and get me a suite for him? I'm sorry. I just rented the last suite to the Middle East delegation. Middle East delegation. You can put him in with them. He's Lebanese. They'll never know the difference. If you'll excuse me, please. Uh, clerk. I am the assistant manager. Oh, excuse me. And I don't mean to burden you with my problems, but this is very important. It's the most important job I've ever had in my life, and this is an important assignment. Please, anything at all we'll take, anything you have. Sir, there are four conventions in town. All the hotels are filled. All I have is... I'll take it. ...is a single, and that's on an air shaft. A single on an air shaft. Wait, wait just a minute. Mr. Williams? Could you wake up, sir? Mr. Williams? Mr. Williams? Mr. Williams? Mr. Williams? been a little mix-up. All they have is a, uh, a single room on the air shaft. Now, it'll be nice and breezy for you. Yeah, that's good. I'll take it. Good. I'll take it. Fine. Assistant manager. <laughs> Assistant manager. The uh, single on the air shaft. We'll take it. It's just been rented. <laughs> Clark. <laughs> Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams, could you please stay awake for just a moment? Mr. Williams. This is very important, sir. Could you please stay awake? Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams! Mr. Williams, no. please try to wake up, no, sir. No, no, no. Please, there's been a mix-up. The uh, single on the air shift, uh, it was rented while I was talking I'll, to you. I'll take it, I'll take it. No, sir, you don't understand. Uh, it's, there isn't a room here, but don't you worry, sir. I'll, I'll give get you all... anything, a hole in the ground, a cellar in Glendale, I don't care. Let's sleep somewhere. <laughs> well, you got a pillow, a sheet. Where do you sleep? Me? Yeah. I sleep at home. Let's go there. Mr. Williams, I don't live alone. All right, so your wife will sleep on the floor one night. <laughs> we'll do her good. What do you say? I'm not married, sir. I, I live with my family, my two sisters, my father, and my mother. You have a mother? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Would you just take me to her and let her tuck me in, Betty Bye? <laughs> I promise you tomorrow I'll tell Willoughby you're the greatest thing that happened to advertising since ball players learned to shave. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's very kind of you. All right. But I, I'd like to explain my family were they're just a little... Mr. Williams, please, uh, sir. My family are just a little unusual. I had an uncle who was a little off, too. They don't matter. Oh, okay. Well, let me call and warn them. I mean, I'll, I'll explain that you're coming. Oh, Mr. Williams! Mr. Williams, sir, you're a big star. You don't have to handle this. I've got to give you all the treatment. <laughs> What could you expect from a creep like that? Stella! Uh, well, who is this that's coming? Well, I don't know. Joy was in such a hurry, he couldn't tell me his name. Stella, are you wearing something nice? Yes, Mama. That's good. I saw one three feet wide. Stella, wear a girdle. <laughs> <laughs> Just as soon as Stella gets married, I'm going to burn up every tie I own. Oh, Mama, hook me up. Your brother's bringing home a fella. Don't you have something that clings a little more? <laughs> How about a sweatshirt with available across the front? <laughs> oh, really? Julie, you've been on that phone all day. Will you please hang up? Father, this is a very important call. No, no, I'll bet it's important. I, who is it? Who is this? <laughs> you, you go to oh, your room and get on a dress right, right use now. I phone in my own house. Here, I'll be right with you. Here. Oh, my goodness, it's them. Della, come and answer the door. Now, for heaven's sake, try to fill out that dress. <laughs> Inhale more than you exhale. <laughs> Shall I marry him right away or wait till he proposes? <laughs> Hi, Hi, sis. Hello, and welcome to Mother Mason's Matrimonial Bureau. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mom's at it again, huh? Mr. Wins, I'd like to meet my sister, Stella. Joey, is that a way to introduce your sweet, beautiful, young, unmarried sister? <laughs> I'd like you to meet my mother and father. Mom, Pop, this is Danny Williams. Hello, Excuse me, I'll take your bag. Thank you. Well, where do I sleep? Joey, you didn't tell me he was such a good-looking young fella. Well, how could I? I mean, I didn't have time. <laughs> Where do I sleep? You sleep right here. It makes into a nice bed. Thank you. Now I'll get pillows and two sheets and... Oh, Stella, show him where to wash up. Come with me, Mr. Vance. Take his arm, dear. To the bathroom? <laughs> Pop, listen. I, I've got to talk to you for just a few minutes. Yeah. Now, you know, I've had many jobs, and I've lost them. And this is a very important job to me, and he is a very, very important client. Now, you know, Mr. Willoughby, he says, like, I'm some kind of a jinx, you know. I'm one of those fellows who everything happens to. Well, that's not true. I just, I just happen to be there when it happens. <laughs> I, I'd like to keep this job, Pop, so do me a favor, please. Tell Mom he's married. He's married? Yes. Oh, that's heaven. <laughs> now I can lose my necktie. <laughs> Please, you will tell Mom. No, no. <laughs> you tell her. I haven't got the heart. <laughs> He's a very important man. He's been on television. Oh, who, who did he fight? <laughs> he, he's not a fighter. He's a, a wonderful comedian. Please, now, just be nice. That's all I ask for you. Will you do that for me, please? Oh, sure. And look, Pop, Mr. Mr. Williams is a very big celebrity. Is that Imagine so? Imagine, I just took a celebrity to the bathroom. <laughs> Pop, please, no jokes. Do as a personal favor to me. Joey, if you're so worried about it, why'd you bring him home? You could have taken him to a nice hotel. Stella, get married. <laughs> Joey, your mouth is open. <laughs> Please talk to her. Yeah. And to Mom. <laughs> Mr. Williams, uh, my son tells me that you're a very important man. Uh, I wonder if you would talk to Mr. Willoughby and see if you can't get my Joey a raise. Yeah, he, no, it's all right. I, don't worry, will you? You see, uh, Joey, he works so hard for that company. He's up, in the middle of the night, he gets up. He goes to meet trains, planes, even buses he goes. Oh, <laughs> please, Mr. Williams wants to sleep. No, oh, what, at this hour? Oh, yeah. Pop, uh, yeah. he is asleep. I don't believe it. <laughs> Mr. Williams? Mr. Williams? Yes. Tell me, are, are you comfortable? Oh, well, there's no need to thank us. We're, we're happy and overjoyed to make you comfortable. Thank God. I'm, I'm very grateful. Very grateful. Well, now, if you really want to show your gratitude, uh, there's something you can do. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I, I, you could go to my Joey's boss in the morning and, and tell him to give my Joey a raise. About $25 a week. Uh, I, I'll do that. Yeah. We won't take it. We want 50. <laughs> Mr. Mason? Mr. Mason, I, I took two sleeping pills by accident. I'm very sleepy. Can we talk about it in the morning? Uh, in the morning, I'll be sleepy. <laughs> No, no, we better talk about it now! Pop, what? please. I'm keep not talk. finished talking yet. Pop, if you keep talking, I may lose my job and you'll have to go back to work. I. you haven't tasted anything this delicious since you were a little boy. Well, let's get comfortable here. Put your feet back. <laughs> Lean against that little <laughs> 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 Mr. Williams, uh, nice homemade soup. Uh, I don't want any <laughs> <laughs> I, I want any soup. I It'll don't... help you sleep. <laughs> I, I, 
I, I don't really need any help. I, I, I took two sleeping pills. I don't need any help. Well, I was just thinking, a man your age ought to settle down. All I'd like to do is lie down right now. I really don't care anymore, honestly. I, I meant get married. Oh, I, I am married, thank you. I'm married. What? <laughs> How dare you come to my house and lead my daughter on with your false promises? <laughs> what, what promises? What are you talking about? You know very well what I'm talking about. What's the matter? What's the, could I just get some sleep, please? Look, I don't want to get married. I'm already married. I have a family, two girls and a boy. A boy? How old is the oh, boy? Oh, for crying! <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? My son, my son, your phone is over. What are you grabbing me for? What's the matter? Where is the... Danny Williams, what are you... Danny, baby, what happened to you? <laughs> what is it, baby? What's the matter? No, what happened to you? The, 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 the pills and soup. Uh, pills? Uh, what kind of pills did you put in his soup? Put <laughs> Danny, what are you doing now? Trying to sleep. Trying to sleep? A big star like you sleeping on a living room sofa? Perfect well, that's ridiculous. You're coming to my house. <laughs> Big boy, in my house, where? you'll have the executive suite at my house. Where we're going? I'll kick my wife out. Oh. My house. Come on, let's go. Well, could I just get my pants? You're a star. You don't need pants. <laughs> Oh, what murdered me, though. <laughs> and the old lady is shoving soup down my throat. Yeah. I can't keep my eyes open, and she's saying to me, it'll help you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you, that was funny. Daddy, you're not getting the picture. Uh, you see, you're worried about funny things to do on your television show. This is it. We'll do the whole bit. What? Yes, this'll be hilarious. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. You want me to do it? A television show about what happened to me at Joey's house and everything? That's right. Now, what are some of the other funny things that happened? Well, gee, I was half asleep. I, I, Joey would remember. Hey, though. <laughs> I'll get him in here. <laughs> uh, Miss Simpson, send in Mason. <laughs> so you look back on it the next day. I mean, yeah. it's really what, what was that about the marriage? The mother looked at you and she said about the marriage? What, what was it? Well, she was disappointed father that I was married. Yeah. So she said, yeah. And I, I said to her, I said, I have a family. Yeah. I have two girls and a boy. Yeah. And she says, she says to How me, old is the boy? <laughs> Mason, come in. Why, can't, can't you find me from here? <laughs> Fire you. <laughs> you crazy kid. Fire you. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You're on the team. Sit down, sit down. You saved our lives. I did? Yes, I tell you. I've got the whole idea for Danny's television show. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I thought you fellas would be angry with oh, you. Oh, <laughs> angry at you. That was an inspiration to take Danny to your house. <laughs> an inspiration. We owe you a vote of thanks. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's the greatest thing that ever happened to us. Uh, tell me, uh, now, once more now, what kind of soup did your mother give him? Homemade soup. <laughs> Nobody does that anymore. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, that's the plot. Now we'll get the casting all settled. Uh, who'll play his father? Gee, I don't know. The father will be easy to care. Yeah. Yeah. Play whose father? Your father. Who, Dan? Who's father? Well, well, that's simple. I'll tell you, let's find the mother first, because that's uh, the more difficult of the two. Yes, the that. mother. I got a load of her, yes. <laughs> um, we'll have to get somebody really off the beam for yeah. the mother. <laughs> now, wait just a minute. Are you thinking of doing a, a show about my family on television? Yes, yes, that's the bit, yes. We're gonna put the whole kooky crowd on the tube. <laughs> right out there. It's gonna be just wonderful. The father yakking at Danny when Danny wants to sleep, and the, the mother trying to palm off the kid on somebody, and the soup bit. Oh, it's gonna be funny, isn't yeah, it? I think so. <laughs> you think that's funny? Yes. That my mother went to all the trouble of making him a bowl of homemade soup? That's funny? And my father talking to him about a raise? I mean, an old man worried about his son's career? That's funny to you fellas? 
Well, and the fact that my mother wants to marry off her daughter, there isn't a woman in this country who doesn't want to see her daughter happily married. Well, that's funny. Now, just a minute, Mr. Uh, you just a minute, Mr. Willoughby. You want to know what's funny? He's funny. <laughs> you think he's got a big nose standing up? You should see his nose when he's lying down. <laughs> It was like a knotless missile on a launching pad. Now, just a minute, Mason. I think you've gone far enough. Get out of here. We've got a show to do. You want to do a funny show? I'll help you do a funny show. Big shot actor comes to Hollywood, gets off the plane half asleep. And why is he half asleep? Because he took sleeping pills in a plane. And when do they work? When he's on the plane? No. When he gets off the plane. The next scene. A hotel lobby. Our big shot hero here being wheeled into the elevator by the baggage truck. Sound asleep. Do you know what you look like when you're sound asleep? An exhausted anteater. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, listen, big shot actor. You want to make fun of somebody? Make fun of yourself. Mason, you're fired. So it's the 12th job I've lost this year. Big deal. Good day. Now, wait a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. What do you think you're doing? to the unemployment office where they appreciate my talents. Uh, go to the unemployment office, it's against the law to go to the unemployment office when you've got a job. At what? Putting on that TV show you're talking about, the funny one. The one about me. The exhausted anteater. That's a great idea. Well, Danny, Danny. Oh, it's a real good it? idea. Look, it's not such a great shake of a thing to make fun of other people. Anybody can do that. What's so smart about it? Matter of fact, sometimes it's cruel. But making fun of myself? I offend nobody, and everybody will have a great time. We'll put on a wonderful show. That's a smart idea, Joey. Right. It's a bright boy you got here. Right. Well, do you really think that'll be it's funny? It's got to be funny. It'll be hilarious. Now, Joey, I was half asleep. I don't remember. You know, you tell him what went on. What happened in that hotel lobby? Willoughby fired me. <laughs> he just rehired you. Now, go on, tell him. At a $25 raise. You got it. Now, come on. Wait a minute. You think you got me over a barrel? Yes. yes. <laughs> he won't take it. He wants 50. That's what his father said. And he wants to be promoted to junior account executive. Now, let's drink on that. Wait, you are out of your mind. And you are out of a television show. Come on, we'll take it to Benton and Bowles. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't want it spread around the advertising industry that I'm a poor loser. It's a deal. <laughs> Let's drink to that. Mr. Williams, you're a big star. Let me pour. Now, wait a minute, Joey. Get this straight right yes. now from the start. In the future, a new day is dawning for you. You are going to have strength and stature and respectability, yes. and people are going to look up to you, yes. and there will be no more of your silly mistakes, right? Right, sir. All right, you're a junior executive. Well, Congratulations. <laughs> Deluxe flight, didn't Oh, he? yes, Deluxe. As a matter of fact, right now, he's probably flying over Denver drinking champagne. Oh, good. Well, now that it's all over, I can be frank with you, Mason. I never thought you'd pull it off. <laughs> what are you doing here? You're supposed to be drinking champagne over Denver. Did you ever try to get on an airplane with train tickets? 